This is a documented journey that draws us into the world of a mother and her daughter, Jamila, who has autism. A retired architect and associate professor who left her career to homeschool Jamila when she was a teenager and to manage the girl's budding art career. Born in Malaysia and diagnosed with autism at age 4, Jamila had trouble communicating verbally and began drawing people to express her emotions and uses drawing as a tool of communication. She is now recognized nationally and internationally for her artwork and has received significant media coverage and achieved many accolades worldwide. Jamila was born in a family of five. Under unfortunate circumstances, two of her elder brothers born in 1985 and 1990 died at a young age. Her second brother, Dr. Immanuel Hassan, born in 1988, is a medical doctor specializing in occupational health and family medicine. Her younger sister, Jemima Shaifu, born in 2003, is a poet and author who has won two Best in English awards at the age of 15 and 16, and won two poetry competitions at a global scale when she was 16. Wang Jamila, known as Art Jamila, born in 2002, is a savant artist known worldwide. At birth, Jamila was born normal and healthy. At one year old, Jamila was active and very attentive with good eye contact. At two years old, Jamila was still active and very attentive with good eye contact. At three years old, Jamila had difficulty in verbal communication. She also had some neurological disorders. She developed some characteristics of autism and was diagnosed with having autism and ADHD at the age of four. At four years old, Jamila had many challenges. Communication, social skill, behavioral, sensory and educational challenges. Nuhashima's life started with a new normal when Jamila had to start with daily early interventions. She had to attend consistent interventions such as applied behavior analysis program, consistent intervention at home, and speech therapy and occupational therapy. During those years, Nuashima was busy with her double profession, with multiple responsibilities and commitments. She started her travels in darkness and was not prepared for it. It was a hard, challenging and painful journey. Nuashima was an associate professor at the local university, UITM. She was a speaker and trainer for architects sitting for their professional examination at Architects Association Malaysia. She was the Board of Architects Part 3 Professional Examination Committee. She is also the principal of her own architectural firm until today. She manages architectural projects at local and international sites. She is responsible as a submitting person to the local authority and as a leader in the construction industry. Nuashima had to juggle her tight schedule with sending Jamila to an early intervention center with her multiple professional duties. Her new journey started with observations and research. She started to realize that Jamila tried to communicate with her through her sketches. This video shows Jamila drawing digitally using her forefinger on her tablet. When she was first given a tablet, she started to explore its capabilities and downloaded the sketching software herself before starting to do digital art. She tells stories of events to Noashima through her drawings. Someone brought her a car remote control, she dropped and broke her toys, cried and finally overcame it with a smile. She showed the many different expressions she can have. She shared her present with her sister. She showed she was scared when she dropped a cup of water and became happy when she cleaned it. She was happy when something happened which resulted in her crying. She was happy but something happened, then she cried. Her emotions when she is sad. Her feelings when she feels emotional and really cries. Her emotions when she is happy. Her emotions when she is surprised. Her emotions when she is angry. She is telling us that she feels shy. When Jamila is clueless and wants to say that she doesn't know. When Jamila wants to say that she is trying to think. Her sketches showing her bedtime activities. Her sketches showing her spa and shower activities. She also sketched her grooming activities. She sketched all the food that she likes. Ice cream, cakes, lollipops and fruits. 
she documented the moments of her delicious dinner. She also put her birthday celebration into her sketches. She drew her daily living skills activities like putting dirty clothes into the laundry baskets. She also sketched all the house cleaning activities that she was involved in. She documented her sweet memories of holidays into her drawings, taking the monorail, visiting Penang, KL Tower and travelling on an aeroplane. The moments she enjoyed most were the packing and travelling by air. The various activities during her trip to Singapore were captured by her. The water sports and beach activities in Penang are in her sweet memories. Jamila documents some moments with her sister, spending time together, enjoying food together, cleaning the house together, arguing with each other and when they were not on good terms. Jamila's precious memories with her mother and her sister were well documented too. She put these memories into her sketches which influenced her famous Three Ladies masterpiece. There are many options to communicate. Verbal language, sign language, body language and art language. Jamila's method of communication is art. She uses drawings to reveal her feelings of happiness, sadness and anger. Looking through her art is like reading a story. Art is my voice and it is poetry. Art Jamila. One of the early intervention programs she attended was Urban Ethos Early Intervention Center that focused on language enrichment and stimulation. The founder of the center said, Jamila is a joyful and free-spirited girl who is set to soar to the best of her potentials. Art is a language to communicate to the world. Dr. Norizan Raja. At 5 years old in 2007, Jamila joined a normal kindergarten, Tadika Sri Cahaya in Section 13, Sha'alam. She slightly progressed for the two years she studied in the kindergarten but remained non-verbal. At 7 years old in 2009, Jamila continued to be non-verbal. In the same year, Jamila joined the normal private primary school, Squire Sri Agma in Klang, Salamo. Nuashima set an objective for Jamila to socialize and take part in all the school's activities, with the normal children to normalize her. Nuashima assisted and strengthened her academic guidance at home following the school's academic schedule. Mr. Lee Peng Chiang, the vice principal of the school, said, Every child should be given a chance. Nothing is impossible to achieve. Seek and you will find. At school, Jamila drew events that involved people in all her exercise books. She drew the chaotic classroom environment with children screaming and crying. She also drew the vice principal giving her speech during assembly. She also drew her extracurriculum activities. The school's annual sports event was captured into her notebook. She showed that she won a medal in her digital drawing. In 2010, when Jamila was 8, she started with a series of massage therapies called Craniosacral and Renew Earth Life Therapy Center. This craniosacral massage therapy regulates the flow of cerebral spinal fluid of the spinal cord and the brain. This therapy gives a positive impact to Jamila. The therapist said, Her weakness becomes her gift and she is now sharing the pure rhythm of life with the world. Sun Mui Su In early 2010 when Jamila was 8, she attended an intensive program by a dyslexia specialist for 3 months. Jamila overcame her literacy difficulties and was able to speak short sentences and read. The dyslexia specialist said, she learns differently. Her sense of curiosity and her ability to see the world in her unique perspective is indeed her source of creativity and brilliance. Nur Saada Muhammad Nordin. One doesn't have to be perfect to achieve big dreams. Jamila was so happy for being able to read and do her reading lessons with the dyslexia therapist. Once Jamila was able to read and speak, Nuashima started daily classes with her together with her younger sister at home and discovered the way Jamila thinks. When Noashima taught Jamila how to draw a 2D circle, Jamila developed it into a 3D object. Therefore, Noashima discovered that whenever Jamila sees a 2D shape, she would imagine it into a 3D object. She sees a circle as a sphere, a square as a cube, and a triangle as a pyramid. She came to the conclusion that Jamila is a visual thinker, not a language-based thinker. At this milestone, Noashima managed to truly understand Jamila. She understood that Jamila sees things differently and holds information differently as certain parts of her brain function more than the other parts. She decided to break from the standard mode of teaching and learn to adapt to her daughter instead of lead her. If they can't learn the way we teach, we teach the way they learn, Dr. O. Ivar Lovas. She studied many express notes to learn about the primary school curriculum and formulated her own curriculum, tailored to Jamila using an experimental teaching method. 
Mahashima understood that everyone is born different and learns differently. Therefore, the application of the standard way of learning is not appropriate. She realized that a structured learning system is not suitable for Jamila. However, a modular system is more flexible to accommodate a visual thinker like her because it focuses on specific tasks. A modular system can accommodate different learning paces as it has flexibility in learning durations for different types of modules. This is a sample of a modular teaching technique for subdivision that was well understood by Jamila. She customized her own workable solutions for her unique daughter with a learning system that is people-centered with a learning outcome of understanding, application, discovery, character building and responsibility, social skills to learn to take turns, and survival skills. She experimented the different techniques as well to accommodate all types of learners. The daily activities where her mother urged her to sketch them in her art. Here she was saying that she learned maths. In her art, she also documents her mother's feelings while teaching her daily at home. Jamila will often write a message to her mother, Mommy, don't scold me. Noashima applied the technique of patterns in her math exercises and tested it on both of her daughters. Jamila is an autistic and Jemima who is normal. Both of them improved from a 43% to an 88% score. The results have proven that this technique is workable on both of her daughters. Jamila showed improvements in her math scores at school from a 40 to 74 in Standard 2 in 2010. She maintained the score for 3 years and scored a 70 in Standard 4 in 2013. When Jamila started to acquire knowledge and understanding in learning, she started to have connections with the teachers at school. Her sketches explained her feelings of enjoyment in learning. It can be seen that Jamila can do well in Mathematics Paper 1. All her answers are usually correct, and she likes to draw happy faces on the cover of the exam paper. However, she was weak with Mathematics Paper 2 because the paper involves problem solving with comprehension questions. At this point, she was still weak with composition and comprehension. Although she tried to answer the questions, she gave up and wrote I don't know with a drawing of a crying face next to the question. A learning method with mind mapping is very effective for a science subject. Noashima conducted a lot of experiments and models as a tool for learning. With this, Jamila improved in her science marks. These sketches show Jamila enjoying her art lessons. Noashima went the extra mile and taught her daughters together with other children at the school during the school holiday. Sacrifice comes before success. Hemraj Kotat. Since Noashima had to attend to her tight working schedule, from Standard 1 to Standard 3, she employed a support aid to monitor Jamila at school, especially during assembly, recess and other school activities. She made the support aid report on Jamila's responses during her school activities every 30 minutes. In 2012 at Standard 4, it was unfortunate for Jamila when the school denied having any more support aid, to which she had to become totally independent at school. Sadly, she was bullied in class and always ran out to other classes because her pink pencil box as seen in her sketches was hidden by her classmates every day. In 2013 when Jamila was 11 years old, Noashima decided to make her repeat standard 4 and join her junior's upper class, which was her younger sister's class. The pictures show Jamila's happy expressions when her new classmates accepted her well. Jamila started to sketch happy people and named her classmates the Team Rainbow Dash. Every problem is a gift. Without problems, we would not grow. Anthony Robbins Jamila memorized all the locker numbers of all her friends in school and sketched them with smiling faces. Jamila was well accepted by her classmates and she was very happy. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. George Orwell Jamila also showed her ability to dance at school for her annual concert. She could perform a complex dance after having observed a specific dance movement briefly. Jamila sketched the dances with her classmates during the concert. Happy, calm children learn best. Daniel Goldman All the dance steps taught by her teacher were put into a drawing using pen on paper. This sketch comprises of the many dance moves she and her friends had to perform on stage. She also sketched the dance movements digitally. The annual school concerts were her most enjoyable moments in primary school. She also drew all the happy moments she experienced during her class party. The memorable moments of giving presents to her teachers during Teacher's Day was also drawn by her. 
this is how she saw the boys in her class. The Yuri Medeka celebration at school interpreted by Jamila. Noashima's efforts finally proved fruitful when Jamila managed to sit for UPSR, the government elementary examination at the age of 13 in 2015. Abundance of hurdles bring abundance joy, Noashima Nordin. The vice principal of Sri Angma Primary School said, a rather timid appearing little girl clutching her mother's hand and walking through the gates of school at Sri Angma in the year 2009 soon became the talk of the school. Her extraordinary talents in drawing and dancing were tremendous. She used to score A for her art and multi praises from the audience who watched her dancing. Although diagnosed with autism, she managed to score a C for her science in the UBSR examination. She also captured the hearts of the other schoolmates and teachers, having taught her makes me feel proud of her achievements. The fruit of the labor of the teachers and school as Ekma shines like a star and she is none other than one Jamila, Miss Judith Anthony. Why fit in when you are born to stand out, Dr. Seuss? In December 2015, Noashima decided to quit her job as a lecturer and focus on Jamila's education. She enrolled her daughter at SNK Section 9 in Shah Alam, Selangor with new hopes. First was to enter the school's inclusive program for the government's PT3 and SPM examinations. And second was to be in the government system in order to enter the Faculty of Fine Arts at a local university, UITM. However, when Noashima discovered she had cancer in the August of 2016, she had to undergo two major operations. With this, she decided to go for a change in direction to homeschool Jamila and concentrate on her inborn skill to draw. She then became a mentor and art manager to Art Jamila. If you change nothing, nothing will change, Tony Robbins. The butterfly that makes a home of its cocoon will never fly, Rev. Deborah L. Johnson. Noashima began to collect curatorial views from local artists to review Jamila's sketches from her early years. She also obtained their opinions regarding Jamila's ability and talent in art. This was a review session by a local artist, and this was an art critic session by local artists at Shah Alam Gallery. Their opinions were as follows. They said that they saw great potential in Jamila's early drawings, and that she was truly born an artist. Her imaginations were also wild, making her different and unique. Start with what is right rather than what is acceptable, Franz Kafka. The desire must come from the child, not us, Ruth. Noashima continued to map out the various routes she could take for her daughter to pursue visual art and decided to take Route F, the path with a homeschooling system that would enable her daughter to progress as an artist at her own capacity. This was her homeschool approach. She would take an opposite route for her daughter to be able to achieve her ideal profession. Instead of the norm of moving from the bottom up, she decided to move from the top bottom. For the homeschool curriculum, she customized her own workable solutions for her unique daughter with a learning system that is people-centered. She took a holistic approach in this way, with art as a therapy at its core. Parallel to art, she also implemented other basic skills like comprehension, survival skills and social skills. She also ensured her daughter's participation in sports activities as a part of her curriculum, swimming, running, national autism sports. Basic survival skills like the implementation of home science in daily life are also important. Food preparation, cooking, baking, dishwashing, laundry, and table setting. Social skills in the curriculum is an ongoing training. As can be seen here, Noashima created AJ Friends Club for Jamila to have her own group of friends. Other social activities are also a bonus to Jamila. Apart from performing her tasks as a mother, tutor, teacher, and mentor, Noashima also performs her duty as an art manager to Art Jamila, participating with art exhibitions, attending to media interviews, speaking at conferences and meetings. Jamila's art career started with a very humble beginning by opening a booth in several bazaars and mini solo exhibitions to obtain feedback from the public in 2017. These were booths at TM Convention Center and Wan Utama, and this was a booth at an art bazaar by BNM. This was her mini solo exhibition at Concord Hotel in Shah Alam officiated by the Crown Prince of Selangor. Jamila started the year 2018 with an international group art exhibition, Imango Mundi, with 600 artists from Asian countries Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia. She obtained media coverage by MHITV3, a documentary regarding her art. From 2019 onwards, uh, Jamila received invitations from prestigious mainstream galleries to join other professional artists in group exhibitions curated by professional curators. The selected shows were Ingenious Soul at Gallery Prima NSTP in January 2019 at the national level, 
Express Malindo e Sha Alam Gallery July 2019 at an international level. RACS Art 2019 at KLCT Gallery in December 2019 at a national level. Sakaki International Art Show in September 2020 at KLCT Gallery as well. Traversing 175 at Calvary Prima and STP in October 2020 at an international level and Pomeran Tabuka 2020 at Sha'alam Gallery. Finally, on 15 December 2020, Art Jamila was very honoured to be invited as a special guest artist in an international virtual art exhibition comprised of 93 artists from 9 countries. The event was organised by Asia International Community of Art and Design, ICAT, in collaboration with Al Biruni Gallery, Faculty of Art and Design at Ampera and Multimedia University. Jamila started her first public life painting session as early as 15 years old with a 10 feet by 9 feet mural at SMK Section 9 in Sha'alam, Selangor in May 2017. She continued doing live paintings at a live drawing competition at the National Art Gallery in July 2017 for a Nagaraku poster competition. She won as a weekly winner. In November 2017, Art Jamila drew live at the Museum and Art Gallery at Bank Negara, Malaysia. In the month of the country's Medeka celebration in August 2018, Jamila was invited to draw live with other professional artists for the Deep Medeka. Her live paintings continued in April 2018 at a World Autism Celebration event. She was also invited to compete in the National Olympic competition involving the champions from each state in Malaysia. They were mostly professional artists that graduated from art institutions. Being the youngest and the only artistic competitor, Art Jamila was very grateful to be able to grab the third winning place. She was also honoured when she was invited by Uncle Sir to collaborate with the Faculty of Art and Design from a UITM branch in Kedah to paint a 6 feet by 20 feet mural at Genius Kunya in Kuala Lumpur in conjunction with the Medeka celebration of 2019. She also drew live in numerous other events involving video shootings by media crew at her art studio and various TV stations. In 2019, Nurashima continued to explore and coach Jamila to create marine sculptures in order for her to distract herself from the effects of chemotherapy and radiotherapy treatments for her cancer. The greatest strength is the spirit of endurance, Laila Gifti Akita. This is the octopus sculpture and this is the fish sculpture. All her efforts paid off when Art Jamila gained several awards nationally and internationally. Among her international recognitions are, on 2nd December 2019, she was appointed as an impact artist in 2020-2022 by Via Talenta Foundation in Switzerland for Sea Pollution Awareness. On 5th May 2020, she won the first place award in an Asian Frontliner Team contest. In June 2020, she was in the World Generation Z article by AFP as a young Malaysian visual artist together with other creative individuals around the world for being creative and committed against the virus. This article received more than 200 media coverage worldwide in six continents of the world. On 10th May 2020, her painting titled Our Hero Series 3 was shortlisted in a global painting competition that was open to every artist in the world under the theme United Against Corona organized by ICCR. On 2nd September 2020, her painting titled World Peace was selected as a header for World Peace Project 2020 Series 1 created by Kerry Bowers from USA in conjunction with World Peace Day on 21st September 2020. On 13th September 2020, the painting titled Our Hero Series 2 
was selected for World Peace Project 2020 Series 3 in USA as well. Nationally, she was awarded as the weekend winner for a live painting competition called Nagaraku, organized by National Art Gallery on 29 July 2017. On 28 July 2018, she won third place at the National Art Olympics live painting competition. She was also appointed as a featured artist for Dana Jamin Mighty Run 2018 and it was a success. She was awarded as the National Autism Champion in conjunction with World Autism Awareness Day on 2nd April 2019. Her painting titled Unity in Diversity Series 3 adorned the Pottajaya Sculpture at Putra Square for the country's Independence Day celebration in 2019. It received numerous media coverage worldwide. This sculpture won the President's Special Recognition Award on the MIP My Place Award 2019, Excellence in Placemaking. She was also awarded as a featured artist by Ankasa, in collaboration with the Faculty of Art and Design in UITM, Kada, for a 6 feet by 20 feet mural painted at Genius Kunya in Kuala Lumpur, as a tribute to Malaysia's 62nd Independence Day in 2019. On 14th May 2020, she received a consolation prize from National Arts Gallery in Kuala Lumpur for a live painting video on Portal Go Gallery. Art Jamila's painting titled Our Hero Series 2 was selected as a memento to the Prime Minister of Malaysia, the Honourable Tan Sri Datuk Dr. Haji Mohidin Haji Muhammad Yassin, for officiating the Malaysian Urban Forum 2020 opening ceremony. The artist's achievements have appeared in the Encyclopedia Britishpedia titled Successful People in Malaysia, which was published in October 2020 by British Publishing House. She has received numerous merits and recognition from various platforms. Her story has appeared in almost 500 media coverage worldwide. Her art and story has also been covered in magazines all over the world. Interview sessions and documentaries about her work have also been broadcasted on television and YouTube. She has also been called for live interviews at various radio stations. Art Jamila has broken many barriers at an incredibly young age and is an inspiration to the world. Noashima's sacrifices and hard work have finally paid off when she successfully turned her daughter from a cocoon into a beautiful butterfly that flies high throughout the world. Noashima said, the change I was avoiding was the one that gave me wings. It transformed me into a new spirit of evolution. Life is a continuous journey of transformation. Noashima Nordin Jamila has improved in the following aspects with art therapy. Behavioral, interaction, communication, understanding and comprehending, and responsibility. She has overcome most of her challenges except for some of her sensory challenges such as sensitivity to bright light and sensitivity to loud and high pitched sounds. 2020 is a very memorable year in history due to the COVID-19 global pandemic. It has impacted everyone in the world. This is the year Art Jamila spread her wings globally by flying like an eagle. She was appointed as a young impact artist for a foundation in Switzerland for the years 2020 to 2022 and was featured as a creative youth in the World Generation Z article by Agence France Press based in Paris. She also won four international awards and collaborated with two global companies, Alibaba and Photobook, for merchandise products. Her biography was also included in an encyclopedia called Britishpedia, titled Successful People in Malaysia. All birds find shelter during a rain, but the eagle avoids rain by flying high above the clouds, learning petals have the option to decide whether to crawl, walk, run or fly in our travels. Noashima Norden.